Hi friends, I'm going to speak with you in this video about the ICE raids. You've been hearing so much about these raids in the media and I'm going to break it down for you by the numbers. So stay tuned to learn what's really going on with these raids. Friends, thanks for watching and subscribing to McBean Immigration Law TV. I like some of the comments that I've received recently, and I want to highlight a few of them to you. Mr. Omar says, you are our Google. Wow, love that. Everything we need about immigration, we will find here. Thank you for enlightening us. Anjali says you are doing a great job for all of these immigration updates. I love watching your videos and then others are watching from Paris. Thank you very much for watching from Paris. Vanessa Williams did say what's not mentioned in immigration is how much we miss our loved ones, especially the spouses. Vanessa, you're totally on point with that. And a lot of the rhetoric that we hear in the world of immigration sometimes obviously doesn't talk about the fact that families are separated for years sometimes. And it's very frustrating and very difficult. And I definitely know that to be true. So thank you guys for commenting and sending your positive vibes. Let's go right to it. So you've been hearing a lot about the ICE raids. There's a lot of hysteria. There's a lot of fear. I'm getting calls at my office from clients who I haven't heard from in years, really, who are concerned, and rightly so. People are very concerned because of a lot of chatter that's happening on YouTube, in the news, on CNN, and all over about these ICE raids. And so people are fearful. People call. I have relatives also who call me and say, you know, should I walk around with my U.S. passport? I'm really concerned. But what is really going on here, friends? Is there a reason to be so fearful? Now, I know that the president obviously tweeted about millions of people will be rounded up and deported. But you've heard me talk about in my earlier video, which I'm going to put a link to in this one, about the Trump remarks and so-called ICE plan to arrest millions of people. In my earlier video, I talked with you about the fact that I don't really think the government has the capacity to pull something like that off. Yes, it is true that in 2012, under President Obama, over 400,000 people were deported that year. And so absolutely, the government can remove a large number of people over the course of a year. But when we're talking about millions of people, we have to ask ourselves, okay, do we have enough ICE agents? And is the coordination that strong in order to pull something like this off? I highly doubt that. It will take a little time. Basically, the numbers that I'm looking at here, which we're going to talk about now, seems to suggest that this so-called raid is not really happening on the scale that folks are talking about here. What is my source for this? My source comes from this ELA document. This is the American Immigration Lawyers Association that I'm a member of. They put out a report on July 15th, 2019 called Announcements of ICE Enforcement Actions. And this little report, not really a report, this document summarizes the major ICE actions around the country. And so I'm just going to read some of the numbers to you so that you get a sense of what's really happening where. On July 12, 2019, ICE arrested six individuals in Jackson, Tennessee. And that's that was reported by the Tennessee Immigrant and Refugee Rights Coalition. In San Diego, 20 people were arrested around July 12th. Ju June 25th, 2019, ICE arrested 75 individuals in Texas and Oklahoma. Then on the 24th of June, ICE arrested 52 individuals in Texas. On June 11th, ICE arrested 140 individuals in Illinois, Indiana, Kansas, Kentucky, Missouri, and Wisconsin collectively, 140 people from those states. On June 6, ICE arrested 32 individuals in Massachusetts, Connecticut, New Hampshire, and Rhode Island collectively. In New York, what's going on here in New York? Because New York is a huge, huge state, right? Large immigrant population in New York. Well, on May 24th, 2019, ICE arrested 31 individuals in New York. 
31. May 17th, ICE arrested 58 individuals in Maryland, New Jersey, and New Orleans. I'm not going to say anything further with respect to earlier ICE arrests, but I do want to let you know that these arrests are being tracked by these very credible organizations around the country. And these are the numbers that are being reported to AILA, which is a very, very credible source. In New York, just recently, the mayor, although he's on his campaign trail, the mayor on July 14th, he tweeted that with respect to ICE activity, we had three, three confirmed situations involving ICE operations in our city yesterday. In no case was it reported to us that the agent found the individual they were looking for to make any arrests. So no arrests happened. And then the mayor tweeted earlier on July 13th, numerous reports have alleged ICE presence at the 72nd Street number one, two, and three subway station in Manhattan. Our underground teams have confirmed that there is no ICE presence at that location. Stay tuned for additional updates. So here you have the mayor of New York City tweeting about the fact that really there's not much activity of, of any kind happening here in New York City. However, I understand people are still very much concerned and they should be because, you know, we don't know, right? We don't know if certainly if you have a final order of removal and you're still here, you are vulnerable. You are the target. Certainly if you have a criminal record and the government knows about that, you are vulnerable. And then lastly, if you don't have a lawful status here and the government knows about it because you have sought benefits from the government and you were potentially denied of those benefits, I think you're still vulnerable as well. Why? Because the government has information about you. But as we just learned from looking at those numbers, this whole operation, and I know it's still early, it is still early, but this whole operation that's being discussed in the media, I think is somewhat blown out of proportion because based on the numbers from these very, very credible sources, things are happening, it seemed to be on a very, very small scale. For those of you who are still very, very concerned about what's happening and you're worried that you are a target, I put together a really nice one page document. It's just a, it talks very specifically about what you can do if you are arrested by ICE. It's a know your rights sheet and I encourage you to download it. It's free. You may download it by clicking on the link in the description box. Download this free one pager on knowing your rights. Very important things that you should know in the event you are arrested by ICE. Friends, that's all I'm going to share with you in this brief video. Feel free to comment below, share your thoughts about what's happening with respect to ICE raids and your concerns with respect to that. And friends, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.